Hey everyone, it's EJ with Cryptography, where we unlock crypto for the masses. Today, we're looking at Solidity, which is Ethereum's smart contract language. And if you don't know what a smart contract is, I highly recommend pausing this video and taking a look at our smart contracts in two minutes video. Link in the description below. But smart contracts are basically how things get done on the blockchain. And Solidity is an object-oriented, high-level programming language. And what I want you to focus on there is the high-level portion. Yes, in programming, we have different tiers of languages. It's not all ones and zeros or bleeps and bloops. And in fact, most developers use more words than numbers to communicate with computers today. And it's only because they can use those low-level language to build on top of. To give you another analogy, imagine that you have an apple and you tell your two-year-old nephew to put it on the table. This is your low-level language. Your two-year-old nephew may not understand what an apple is, may not understand what a table is, and may not even understand that you're trying to talk to him. So you have to define every single thing, which makes things long, tedious, and difficult. Now imagine you take that same nephew a few years later when he's seven. He understands what an apple is, he understands what a table is, and ideally he just picks it up out of your hand and puts it on the table. That's your high-level language, where you didn't have to define anything, you guys could speak. Now Solidity is pretty similar to JavaScript, one of the most popular languages in existence today. That's by developer count, I guess. And when I say language, they're really more like dialects. If you understand JavaScript, you can pick up Solidity pretty easily. Now, Solidity builds on the Ethereum virtual machine, but you can just think of that as the low-level language that it's built on top of. The Ethereum virtual machine is completely isolated, which means that it's easier to write things and kind of uh, test it, but it's a little bit harder to secure and makes it more vulnerable because you can't really throw it into production. Now, why is this important? Because Solidity leverages a larger developer community that JavaScript has cultivated over decades. That means that if you understand JavaScript, like I said, you can pick up Solidity really quickly and you can start writing smart contracts right away. But more importantly, Solidity makes it easier to program smart contracts than in Bitcoin, which uses lower level, more technical, abstract languages that less people understand. Thank you for watching everyone. As always, this is Cryptography and we facilitate an open discussion and would love to hear from you. Please, please like, subscribe and comment below. Cheers.